it's gone. The Next.js middleware does not exist anymore. So if you're on Next.js 16 and want to create a file called middleware.ts, you totally can, but this is just a random file called middleware.ts. It is not being called at all. So what happened? Why the change and where should your middleware logic live in Next.js 16? Let's get into it. So you upgraded your project to Next.js 16, which is currently in beta, but if you watch this video, it might be already stable. And your middleware is gone. Where is it? You might find it with a new name, proxy. And while this just looks like a rename, it's actually not. And it's also not just for the sake of change, it actually has a reason. Because the name proxy better reflects the role that this file should now play in Next.js 16. And the reason is that people use authentication checks in middleware or now proxy. And Next.js doesn't want you to do that. The middleware or now proxy shouldn't handle authentication at all. And there are a couple of good reasons for that. One is, for example, it's a single point of failure. So if something fails inside here because you made a mistake or Next.js did a mistake, your whole authentication breaks. And if you think, oh, that will not happen, it just did earlier this year with the CVE 2025-29927 vulnerability. This exploit has just opened the door for not great maintained projects that rely on middleware for authentication. So you just send this header and the middleware says, okay, I don't care. And also it's not very performant to do auth checks in this file because you specify a config down here and if you specify it wrong, this runs for every static asset, for example. So you do resource heavy operations on every request everywhere in your application, that can't be okay. So this is not the right place for authentication. But where should authentication live, right? Before we look into that, we have to understand why middleware is actually a bad name. So the official PR says the term middleware often confuses users with ExpressJS middleware, which can encourage misuse. To clarify our direction, we are renaming the file convention to proxy. This highlights that we are moving away from middleware, breaking down its overloaded features and making the proxy clear in its purpose. Okay, so basically a lot of people that used ExpressJS are now using Next.js and got confused because middleware is totally behaving different here. But it's not just Express. The problem is that a traditional traditional middleware runs in the same execution context. So you have a client and then you have the middleware right into your application execution context. And you can even chain different middlewares after each other. You can have one for error handling, one for logging, one for your authentication. And the thing in Next.js is that's not how it's working at all. Because Next.js is way more complex. Like in Next.js, we have multiple execution contexts. So we have server actions, server components, route handlers, client components. We have the new proxy file and we have more confusing stuff like incremental static regeneration, all different execution contexts. And then we also have different runtimes like the edge runtime and the node runtime. So they're basically is not that monolithic thing in the middle of everything like what a middleware is supposed to be because we have so many execution contexts and your authentication should not live in your proxy.ts file. This is basically just routing infrastructure. And that's what Next.js wants to tell us with this renaming. Use your proxy file, not for everything. Use it especially not for any heavy operations. Use it just for routing, just for basic network handling things. But you might ask, is proxy the right name for that? Because that's what we actually have here now. It's not really a proxy server. So the name is not completely right. And that's why a lot of people don't like this change because a proxy server, like a reverse proxy, for example, is something that you place in front of your server that then balances load and stuff like that. But naming this proxy makes actually sense because this should behave like a proxy. But I totally get it if some people don't like this and have mixed feelings about it. But let's come back to the question, where should you do auth checks? when not in your middleware or your proxy? The answer for that is pretty simple. You should exactly do it at the execution context that you are going to trigger. Like if you're calling a server action, like this delete slot action, you check auth status here, like this require auth method here, for example. So don't do these auth checks in your middleware or in the new proxy file, and instead do it in the data access layer. And I totally understand that you might think now, oof, that I have to copy so much code. And what if it gets called multiple times in one round trip? Therefore, you have the React cache file. Function. Just use that one. This deduplicates the whole thing. So yeah, data access layer is not that easy, but you will see more videos about that on the channel. Of course, you have to subscribe for that. And if you want to see more about Next.js, then one of these two videos will be exactly what you want. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.